Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like them, please. I'm with uh, Matt today, who actually works at Tamworth um, Football Club. Matt, how are you? And tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Matt Hilton. I work on the car park for the club. New role I've been took up, taking on this year, as previously I've done 18 years experience of stewarding. So yeah, massive Tamworth fan, follow me home and away, and obviously big Wolves fan, <laughs> <laughs> which unfortunately somebody has to be, but yeah, yeah. So hopefully, yeah, both have a good season. Yeah, so um, I'm at, because you're a Wolves fan, I'll probably ask you some questions about Wolves as well, but this main uh, Tamworth. Um, so I've called, we played Hinkley um, yesterday. Um, it wasn't really many fans because it's pre season, and I know all the. I ain't gonna say like. All the like, um, you know, who set pyros off and everything went to um, the boxing match and what was next door to the Hinkley uh, football ground. So none of them was there. So. But. What did you think of the match yesterday? I thought it was a bit slow. Obviously, he's coming first game back for most of our players. Yeah. Obviously, in clear play, I got told yesterday at the ground they'd already had one pre season friendly. Yeah, they did. They started last week. Yeah. So, it's our first pre season. I expect it to be building up. Obviously, players getting minutes in the legs helps. So, that's one good thing. It's like, like, good to see Matt Curley, Liam Dolman, Gary, it's all being back. Even even uh, Carl Finn, I've seen back as well. I've seen the lads back and enjoyed the new players slotted in as well, which was good. Yeah. Obviously, we've got a big, big, a big massive holes left by Collard, mm. which was a big unfortunate shame. But obviously, work commitments and the family come along. Yeah. But yeah, we we played well. But it's just it's obviously first pre season. Players still coming back off holiday, so. Mm. Um, so yeah, it, it's all right. Yeah, I I know most Hammer fans were saying yesterday um they want the two centre backs who started the second half um they want oh, the Bird and Gascoigne yeah they want them to start yeah obviously the yeah the Birds played for us before before when the season got curtailed with COVID mm. I remember him being there and then he went to Brackley I've not seen much of Gascoigne but he looked all right. Yeah. I still reckon Willits and Bully Ball Dolman will do a job. Some people think Dolman won't be enough, but, uh, you know. Uh, well, he's got the experience, that's what you need. When, cause obviously, I've played football most of my life, and experience does show for him. And obviously, when I play for teams, they say, Matt, you've got the experience of doing, knowing what you can you can bring. You, it's not a case of being on the pitch bringing it, you can also be off the pitch and helping young players as well. Yeah. So that's where Dol Dolman will come in for that. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, of course, Tamworth um, had their first pre-season game yesterday and drawing um, nil-nil. Not goals, um, but at least it wasn't like a two-hour pre-season game when you go from Tamworth and you go two hours away. At least it was only about 30, 40 minutes. I know um, we're playing the team on Tuesday now. Yeah, 34 minutes on the road, yeah. Yeah, I know we're playing the yeah. team on Tuesday now. I will be there as well. Yeah, what's um, 40 minutes as well, 40, 50 minutes, something like that. Um, uh, what do you think uh, going into Tuesday's pre-season game then? Um, I don't know who we're playing, I can't really say the team, um, but yeah. Well, I can tell you a little bit about them. They signed Ryan Beswick yesterday. Did it? Yes. See, everything that you want to know, I can know, I know, because obviously I've heard, we've played them before. I think we played them when COVID, when we were coming out of COVID, and you only allowed six people to go. So it's my first time going there Tuesday night, because I, I wasn't allowed to go last time because it was COVID restrictions. But yeah, they signed Ryan Bezik yesterday. So that'll be, probably be another tough battle. I don't know much about them, I just know that we've played them before. And I think we won five 0 Did we? Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know we beat Hinkley last time four 0 Did we? Last time we played them. Um, yeah. And of course we we four nil nil. So at least they haven't scored past us. Uh, That's what we're doing. But 
now we're in best fit signed for them. Um, it's going to be good test. I'm surprised he left non eating, to be fair. Um, I reckon something's gone on up there, but I can't, I'm not allowed to comment. I don't want to really comment on that. Yeah. That place up the road. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I think going into Tuesday's game, you know, it's only a pre season. We will want to win, of course, because we don't want to lose games in pre season. Um, and in my opinion, I think we have got easier games in pre season, to be fair. Because I know, I know. Yeah. Last last season we had was it last season when we had Wrexham. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. I, I went to that game at home, and I know. It was, yeah, I was. I was shooting him, and it was. They brought a load of fans. Yeah, they and did. Were like, yeah. And I yeah, know. They brought a load last season. I know the sheds were full as well. Um, when I was in it, so. Uh, but. Yeah. I... Yeah, I think, you know, we've got, of course, since I was in pre-season on um, Saturday, I will be at that. I think I think, I think, think most people are going to be at that because it's at home. Yeah, we've got St. Ives, Starbridge. Telford, do we? night after. We've got St. Ives Saturday, Starbridge on Tuesday, and then I think we've got Barwell and AFC Telford. Yeah. In between, after the Colville game, because we'll be on a Friday night. I know. Uh, I've heard something that uh, Dexter plays for Stalbridge now. Who's that? Dexter, former Tamworth player. Oh, Dexter Walters. Yeah. There's yeah. quite a few. Dexter Walters and Joel Kettle. Uh, yeah, uh, I got told by uh, Jordan Clement that Dexter plays for him. So. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan, uh, Dexter plays for Stalbridge, so does Joel Kettle, our former captain. Okay, um, but. Um, let's go back to last season, then we'll get on to this season. What did you think of uh, last season? Of course, we won the league. I think we was, to be honest, I know most Hammer fans will agree with me, but some won't. Um, I don't think we deserve to win that league. But I think because Koval was losing most games, when when they was losing, we were picking up points. But when we were losing, they were picking up points. So, um, yeah. in my opinion, I, I think, think... I think we deserve to win the league. We're the better team for the whole of the season. We, obviously, like you say, when Cole, when we were dropping points, Colville was still picking points up. But when yeah. Colville dropped points, we picked up points they up. They were scoring last-minute winners as well every time. Yeah. That's, that's part of the football. At the end of the day, we just plodded away. We got on with it, and it was fantastic already. It's everybody enjoyed themselves. I even even I enjoyed myself, and I had to do. For t- I was, I admit, I was crying at the end final whistle because it's Tamworth, and it's like oh. I was on the but pitch. But they were happy tears. I know you got. I, everybody got on the pitch. I, I really, I was on the pitch. I've got photos from that day. I'm, I'm yeah, brilliant day. It was just a nice day, and then got back to the clubhouse and we celebrated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was a good day. There. I think that my best Tamworth away day, in my opinion. Um, well, I'll say Hereford in the FA Cup. I don't think I went to that. I can't remember. We played them at our place. We drew, we drew nil nil, and then we won on penalties at Edgar Street. Oh, um, but... <laughs> um, yeah, of course, it was um, a good season last season against, of course... Um, Redditch. Um, I know now next season we're gonna have big away days. I can't wait. The, the to be honest, the big away days. I know we got stat. Um, not skull. Um, Scunthorpe, Chester. I know one team is in our league for next season. I got told it's actually near Newcastle. Um, I didn't know that. Um, I don't know what team. Blythe. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think. Blythe, it, You've got a few up there. You've got Blythe, Spennymoor, Darlington. Going to be a good day up South there. South Shields is up there. South Shields is up there. South Shields is further. We'll probably take loads of coaches yeah. for them. Um, to... Oh, yeah, we'll do. Hopefully we do. It'd be uh, nice if we did. Yeah, I think we will fit every, probably every game that season because I think we could win a new league now. But what... What do you expect going into next season then? Because in my opinion, I think we'll finish 11th. I think we'll have a really... <laughs> have you read my mind somewhere? Because that's what I reckon. <laughs> oh, dear. I reckon we'll finish 11th as well. I think I reckon that. we'll finish the table. Yeah, I think we'll have a really good season next season. Yeah, I think we'll have a really good season. We will have a good season. Andy Peaches, he's, 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 he's
champs. Everybody behind the scenes that works at the club are working hard. Mm. Obviously, I know a little bit that goes on at the club, it's obviously work, but everybody's working hard, everybody's looking forward to getting back. It doesn't feel like two minutes we've had a break, 22nd of April, we were last, when we fin- or was it somewhere in April we finished, and we're back in two, three months. Where's the time gone? So yeah, well, I'm looking forward to a new season. Yeah, and I know um, when we record this now, the fixtures are out in three uh, days. So I know they're out Wednesday at 1 pm, is it? Yeah, that's right, 1 pm. Yeah, some people um, want a away day. Um, but well, I, think, I think we'll get drawn away, Kirsten and Ashton. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Think... Where do you reckon we'll get drawn? I think we'll have someone at home. I think we'll have like a scum for at home or Chester, a big team at home. That's not a bad shot, actually, yeah. Because yeah, but I, I think because we, yeah, cause we played at home last season, I think we'll be away this season. That that what most people are saying. Um, because, yeah, yeah we had a finger last season, first game, and when it all went mad out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, so, yeah, Tamworth, fuck all next season. I'm looking forward to next season. I, I can't believe it's the 2nd of July already, and, like, not long till the season starts, um, like, I can't wait till, like, you know, it's still going to be summer when Tamworth starts as well, so it's going to be nice weather, so, yeah, um, yeah, of course we went on to Thomas now. Um, um, let's get on to your, t- like your Premier League team, then Wolves. Uh, let go, let go f- from last season. What did you, what did you think of last season then, as a Wolves? It was a, it was a tough season. Obviously, we didn't win any games under Bruno Large. Rolly Junior, Lopetegu, I don't know pronounce his surname, I'm not obviously sure, but he got us out where we need to be. Sold Connor Cody Essie for 7.5 million, which is a big loss. You can't lose your skipper, we've lost Neves as well. The only thing that's worrying me now, I've not seen anybody being, I've seen people linked, but I don't think, I don't know, it, was, it could probably be another tough season for Wolves again, but. If they've got they're going to back the manager, which they said they're going to do, he might do a decent job. But until I can see who we're going to bring in, then at the moment I can't, I can't, can't really say we're in a good season. Yeah. Um. Who you got in uh, pre-season? Uh, they have they were supposed to go to South Korea on tour, but that's been cancelled apparently. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Apparently something's happened in South Korea. We can't go there because because we got He Wang Chan. Is one of our players. Apparently, he was looking forward to going home for his tour, but apparently, it's been cancelled. Mm. I haven't really seen much pre season who Wolves been got. But yeah. I think. It's, it's the lack of signings I don't like. Yeah, in my opinion for next season for Wolves, um, as of course a Villa fan, and I do um, probably um, hate them. Um, uh, I uh, uh, to be honest, I think I'll probably hate West Brom more than Wolves, in my opinion. Um, because, of course, that's like five fools, but... Yeah, that's how yeah. Yeah, I run Wolves as well. And my worst memory... I don't think, since I've been born, I don't think Villa never beat Wolves. Over the last five years, or the last couple of seasons, you've not beat us, we've beaten you, or we drew. Yeah, and, and I ain't going to mention that 3-2, because that was just... <laughs> You know, I'll tell you that story that day. We had... Who's it we had? We had Notch County at home. Yeah, yeah, I was going to go that far when I went I had Notch County at home and we had... The Wayne was full of Notch County fans and obviously all you have to do with jobs. So I walked in and I got... Obviously I got flash scored like everybody else. 1-0 Villa, 2-0 Villa. I thought, here we go. And so we said, oh, we are going to beat Wolves today. Looked at my phone at full time, three two win. We yeah, we never had a we don't have a don't we never have a never die attitude at Wolves. And that that was a good day. But yeah, I remember being at Notch County at home for that day. Yeah. <laughs> it was like 
But yeah, we beat you. I beat your camera shots, can't we? It's good as well. Yeah, camera phone was good that day. The glam was rocking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Wolves will go down next season, um, unfortunately. Um, I think they might just go down. I think everything will be down there again, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, I think they're always going to be down there because Sean Dyche. Yeah. Um, well, I reckon, I reckon Villa will have a decent season with the players you've signed. Paul Torres and Yuri Tillemans. Yeah. They're cracking signings that Villa have made. That should be the signing we should be going after, but we don't best, seem to be. Best Finland's team. He, he, you, can have that. you can have it for next, next season. You can have it for last season, but we'll see what happens after this he, season. <laughs> even even Birmingham City are signing players now. And, yeah. And in my opinion, I think they'll play good next season. Hate to say it, but uh, I do think they'll have a good season. It's only a Mickey Mouse league. We got out of it. You got out of it. So it's only a Mickey Mouse league. Yeah, and they can't. They're still down there. And West Brom. <laughs> and West Brom. Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah. You got any questions then about Tamworth, about Villa, or about anything? Um. Um, who, who do you want for the first game of the season? Who do I want? Um, I, I said it to most people, I think. I want a hard team because then we can just get them out of the way. Then we can just... But, to be honest, I want them. No, actually, scrap that. I don't want a hard team. I want I want Russia Olympic. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad because I, I think they'll finish bottom of the league that season. Yeah, I don't think they'll do anything. They, they're not, they're not going to be. Oh, I went to there and play a final against Nuneaton. Um, cause. Oh, yeah, did you go to that one? Did you? Yeah, most Hamworth fans did. To be fair. Um, oh, I didn't go. I didn't go. So I never set. I only, I've only set foot in Nuneaton's ground, and that was once, twice with Hamworth. And once when I went to watch them play, basically United. Yeah, um, I was in the Washington Olympic, uh, and because out of stadium, some non-eating fans set a pyro off, and it absolutely stunk. Um, well, yeah, they do. Tell me about it. I've had, I've had been around pyros most of my life, and they're not very nice. No, and we got into um, Washington Olympic away, and was shocking though. Like you know, they didn't have the proper way end. They had. <laughs> Not many, that most teams in that league don't have proper away ends. I don't stock Inkley yesterday. I only got three sides of the ground open. Yeah. But the um, top end of the away end, top of the changing end zone. Yeah, but any more questions? Um, What do you think of Unai and Resigns for the Villa? Um. Well, we saw Paul Torres. I think he's uh, absolutely um good player. Um. Don't know who we're gonna play him with next season. Um, probably like Mings, but if him and Diago Carlos, I think that will be absolutely a lovely backline from the Villa. Then we've signed off good Tenement, so I don't think he'll start, but I think he'll be a backup. Um, he is a good player, but he's too slow. So, but but when we want a goalie, we'll score a screamer. Let's be honest. But yeah. That was. So, obviously, you had your first, what, first pre season yesterday. What do you reckon to the rest of the pre season for Tamworth? Do you reckon it'll go all right? Um, well, I think we'll win Tuesday. I think, um, I think, you know, they'll have a free kick and, yeah, guess who will score. Oh, I don't think he, that's all he's got in his locker now. He's getting too old, right? Best he is. He, he's good he's at three kits, but he ain't really. He just... Yeah, he's getting too old now. Um, then, St. Ives, um, I can see us winning that. Um, then... Um, Stalbridge. Then Stalbridge. I think we might draw that. Um, then Telford. I think we might lose 1-0, to be fair. I think we've got St. Ives, Stalbridge. Then we go to Harbour Town, where I went last season. Yeah. And we lost that game as well, Harbour Town, remember that? And Austin is Telford and then Barwell, I think. Yeah, um, uh, Barwell will be um, a 
tough team to beat, to be fair, but it's only pre-season. And uh, last question, what I want to just ask. The worst ground you've been to last season. My worst ground, want me to say mine? I'm going to go Kings Lynn. Kings Langley? Yeah, Kings Langley, that's it. My worst ground? Uh, trying to think where I went. My worst ground. Kings Langley's down there. But I've got quite a few. I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, I think Kings Langley, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kings Langley. Weren't the best, but. Yeah. So, um, there you go, guys. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, Tamworth win the league again that season, but probably won't happen. Let me will. Um, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> but, Let's uh, have one season of consolidation first, then yeah. we can go for the league if we want to go but for it. Subscribe for now. Thanks, Matt, for coming on. And, yep, yeah, see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.